ba ba da ba 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 da ba da Admittingly, I am not the best singer when it comes to the Super Smash Brothers theme song. Hi everybody, this is Black Rhino Ranger, and welcome to the one and only Super Smashing live stream. As and we're about to get ready to rumble. Now, t on this very day, it is not exactly an anniversary, but it is five days after one anniversary and five days before another. And in this occasion, we have, um, um, now on those dates, it is the 23rd, it was the 23rd anniversary of the first game, and it will be the, the 14th anniversary of another. And it is, and both games are part of a franchise that are said to be one of, if not the biggest, video game crossovers in history. The Super Smash Brothers franchise. To celebrate, we are going to draw something Super Smash Brothers related. And these are the options. For the first one, we can draw the original 12. Before the ori before the fur before um all the countless characters like the eighty almost eighty or ninety characters we have, it started off with just twelve like Mario, Pikachu, Kirby, Yoshi, Donkey Kong, Samus, etc. But if you want a bit more variety than that, we can allow three games per debut characters like like Mario and Pikachu from the Nintendo sixty four one. Melee had Bowser and Zelda. Brawl had Sonic and Snake, the first, uh, the first um, third-party franchises. Wii U and 3DS had Bayonetta and uh, Cloud, and Ultimate had Kazuya and Sora. Or if you want to use the franchises, be a bit more varied and go with different franchises. We got Mario, Pokemon, Zelda, Fire Emblem, Animal Crossing, etc. Or if you don't want to go strictly Smash, we could go with the Smash-like games, including Brawlhalla, Cartoon Network Punch Time Explosion, the Multiverses, Nickelodeon All-Star Brawl, even PlayStation had a hand. Or you don't have. Or is there a character you always wanted to see in the game, but you but it never came? Well, let's just pretend that Smash Six is coming, and. I'm, what if I made this list of all the characters you pre you can... Let's just say this list over here shall be a uh, prediction to see how if I how many f characters I... I um, okay, let me rephrase that. Let me rephrase that. Um, just enlist as many characters as you can to be, to be in a supposed Smash 6. Are you up for the challenge or do you want to go on a little easier? Which one is it? Let's see for franchises, franchises, franchises. Jay Kamala Khan is Zo. Especially. Hmm. hmm. Let's see. Let's see. Yeah, well, if that's what you want, franchises it is. I originally had these rules in case for the challenge, but never mind, franchises it is. So the first stop we have uh, from the Mario fran. Now, in case you're wondering why there's only like uh, several more, there's only like these handful of franchises when there's obviously more like say uh, Tekken or King of Fighters, that's because I tend to choose only um, 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 ca franchises with at least two characters who are playable. So let, let's say uh, Xenoblade has um, Pyra, Mithra, and, uh, and uh, Shulk. I'm not very good with pronouncing names, so, uh... So anyways, the first stop, we have Mario. 
So let's see here. Hmm, that's a new one. And by the way, fellas, if you like, you can ask me to use the super chat system to make a rule-free request. And if you don't have anything to request, just uh, ask me any question. Just redraw that a bit. Hmm, just just let me just double check on something. Yeah, I think uh, it's a bit too much. Admittedly, I have not seen Austin Powers, so this is the best I can do to have Mario as Austin Powers. That's a check off the list. Oops, that's not right. All right, next step is uh oh, uh thank you. Um
Um, I, just out of curiosity, how big is uh, Draco Vish compared to the other Pokemon? Let's see, let's see, um... Okay, I think I, uh... No, no. Oops, I forgot, he only has, uh... There we go, we have Dracovich versus, uh, Grin Ninja. And it seems... Heavy weight wins over skill and agility. Let's see. Uh, oh, ooh, okay. This is this is a big one. Let's see. Uh, all right. Um. It's uh Um, the Discord, the Discord is in the server or the Pokemon? Is it, is it the, is it the, I, I mean, I mean the Pony character, the MLP character. I mean, uh, is it, uh, is it the server or the Milo Pony character? Let me just uh, double check. What was it? The yes, sir. Okay, okay. I I remember now. <laughs> um. doesn't look great. Hmm. 
Wait, let me just make them a little bit bigger. Hmm. Yeah, I think this is this is
Okay, now for some elements. Hmm. That must be um, I think that's the best I can do. Okay, um, next up is a uh Just, just a moment, just a moment. And now for the for the la piece of resistance. There you go, we have 
Crash versus Pikachu. <laughs> Anyways, what was I? All right, that's uh, that's it for the things for now. What what else is there? Well, there's the Legend of Zelda. The best I'm at is the tune version of Link. What I can do can try the regulars if you want me to. Hmm. All right. Looks like I'm skipping a bit. Oops. Oh, where, 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 where? Let me have a look. Let me have a look. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Huh. Where did Where did I see? Where did I see the? Where did I see your? Uh, I I forget. Where did Where did you put your? Uh, um. I, I can't see your super chat with the Yoshi and I can't seem to find it. Uh, let me just uh At uh, the very start, uh, you see, this is why I ask you folks to wait until I finish my introduction. Because if you, if you're, if, um, um, because uh, I can lose, yeah, I can easily lose track if I'm not, if I'm not, uh, if I'm not prepared. So terrible. No, 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 this ain't this old phone. This old phone. Hmm. Oh, I'm uh, uh, hitting the wall something. What was the thing again? Okay, okay. Um.
Hmm. I think I better include uh, uh, something first. Hmm. Uh, I'll add the uh, keep uh, just Oh, I think I, I think I screwed up somewhere. I don't know. There's, there's something not right. So I think there's a. Oh, oh dear, 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 dear. Oh, God. Oh. 
I'm sorry. I can't do it. I'm sorry. Mm. Sorry, I think I'm gonna have to scrap Fire Emblem. I, I, I think I can't do Fire Emblem anymore. I don't know, I just keep screwing up on Fire Emblem. It's just too hard. Oh, Fire Emblem is just... Uh, so sorry, but I'm, I'm scrapping Fire Emblem. I'm so sorry, it's just that it's so hard. I, I keep forgetting how difficult it is to do Fire Emblem. <sighs> See. I just can't do them anymore. It's just too stressful. Now this is more comforting. So, what was it again? Wait, for the, wait, the white rabbit is named Fergie? I thought it was just the white rabbit, as in, I need, I need, for a very important date. No time to say hello. Goodbye, I'm late, I'm late, I'm late.
this is this is more like it. Very simple, very cute. Yeah, well, what's the next one? Switching icons direct. That's the the feral drag. Is that the is that what you guys mean? The feral drag. Um. Okay. Hmm. This one I'm not. It's like a like a it's like a deer. Um. Okay, for that guy who asked me to draw, I'll, uh, who asked me to try and draw her Yabayoshi in the Fire Emblem character, I'll be glad to draw something else, just to make up for... This thing has no eyes! Yes. Is that is this another creature that kind of acts like uh, again? I have not I'm not familiar with Fire Emblem, so I don't know the lore of it. So uh, does this thing act like Walmut, a creature with no eyes but is still able to see through other senses? Oh, this, oh th th those things aren't hooves, they're knuckles. I didn't realize. It's... <laughs> I mean, it kind of looks like a deer or like a hooved creature, but it looks like it. It's on his knuckles. It kind of reminds me of this uh, prehistoric animal called a calicathere. Here, they look like camels, but they 
have knuckles, those instead of claws. Yes, they walk like uh, they walk like gorillas, and they, those claws they use they're used to hook down branches to to eat um, to eat the leaves. They walk like gorillas, and they eat like pandas. But their closest living relatives are horses. I think there was an there was another in Cal Calicathir, but he was but didn't act all gorilla-ish like called an Encylotherium. Hmm. Okay, that's the dragon. Now to include, um, see, what are the powers of the uh, feral dragon? Hmm. Just let me just double check. Um. Huh. In their dragon powers, they use. Dra Draconic Rage Breath. Hmm. hmm. Ah. Something like this.
Just to make sure he has buck teeth. Hmm. Just uh, remove the this for a minute. Just uh, Ellie, what am I doing? His uh, sleeve is supposed to be a little bit long. Stretch his limbs. Oh dear, Spongebob is school is... <laughs> okay, I th okay, let me just uh, get rid of this, uh... Okay, th that's one fire emblem I managed to do. Whew. Okay, what else, what else? Smash me something. All right. Um. Okay. So what's what's your replacement? Hmm. Um. Let's see. Let's see. Um. Can we just double check on something? Okay. What's your replacement for? Hmm. Okay. Hmm. 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 Oh, they're both dogs and they're both
Yeah, we have uh, yoga. Yeah, we have ga. Yeah. We have uh, Yaba Ruffy as the Duck Hunt duo versus Yoshi. Hmm. Okay, that's um. And so, uh, what was I? What was my, um, I remember somebody, ah, yes. There you go, fellas. Kirby is Spyro. Uh, there it is. Oops. <laughs> Oops. There. What about Donkey Kong? Um, I kind of see Donkey Kong as a sub-series to Mario. Oh, yes, he does have his own. Um, he does have his own series, but um, I think it's. Uh, I mean, Donkey Kong when in in Mario's first appearance, he was in a Donkey Kong game, and um, those. I, I, okay, fellas, I, I've, I've finished my Fire Emblem one, so uh, can I not ask uh, for any more? Uh, okay, I, I've, okay, I forgot to mend. I forgot I, I did Animal Crossing, so... Um, okay, let's see. Um, Carmilla? I don't think Carmilla has a... Wait, what am I doing? I mean, uh, I think I think I went a bit off track, fellas. I mean, uh, hmm. Wait a minute. I just realized something. Uh, oh wait, oh wait. The fire emblem doesn't count because uh, the dragon. Wait. Oh wait, no mind, no mind. Dope. Uh, I I just remembered. Uh, so Carmel. What? Huh? Uh, but that's not a playable character in uh, in Smash. Carmilla in You see creepy vampire her lady like <laughs> Matt the me who's Matt the me as in Matt as in uh, a, a me version of Matt from Matt's world Oh, okay, okay. Let me let me have a look. Let me have a look. Let me see.
Hmm. Zelda has gone through a lot of different designs. Hmm. Matt is from Wii Sports. Do you have a 4K smart TV in your bedroom? No, I do not. I, I don't... I, um... I don't know if I have, um... My room is not really compatible for for te television, unfortunately. I don't have a lot of room there for for my TV. I do have um, I do have some room downstairs, but it's occupied. Have you seen the CDI cutscene? You mean the? Gee, it sure is boring around here. My boy, this piece is what all true warriors strive for. Your Majesty. Yeah. Huh. Your Majesty. Great, I'll get my stuff. There is no time. Your sword is enough. These are the faces of evil. <laughs> you must conquer each. That's what I remember. And the bombs? You want it? It's yours, my friend, and I wonder what's for dinner. Do you think this is better than, uh, than the, Well, excuse me, princess. I just no I noticed that Legend of Zelda the characters went to a, a a lot of different designs. Like um I remember, I remember a ton of YouTube poops of the Zelda CDI cutscenes, and they were they were very funny. Like uh, there was one of uh, I think I, I remember one seeing this one as a, I think it was a teenager where they go with a dinner blaster <laughs> and Captain Robotnik uh, comes in and he threatens uh, the the king to touch his. Uh, Snooping as usual, I see. But the king denies and then he puts out his dinner blaster. <laughs> uh, so. I don't know if I should make Link or Zelda talk in my animations because um, in in the games uh, they tend to rely on those uh, boxes for for they tend to rely on those boxes for storytelling. So um, I mean they, they 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 always communicate to those dialogue boxes. They don't actually uh, have a voice. You know, kind of like, kind of like Harvest Moon, a game I, me and my sister would often play as a, when we were kids. And they, they, they never have, they don't have a voice. They all speak to the dialogue boxes. There we go, we have uh, Jenny from Pink Fong as Zelda. The uh, CDI version, that is. It's at, least, uh, it's at least it's more simpler to draw and easier than some other things. Anyways, what was I? Um, 
Hold it? What do you mean, hold it? Is there something important you need to tell me? Uh... Like the OBJECTION guy. <laughs> okay, um... Big the cat is re... You? Big the cat? Isn't that that... Isn't that that cat from, uh... From Sonic the Hedgehog on, uh, T. Mamie? As far as I'm aware, was it... And I, I remember... I remember... Big the cat from Sonic Heroes joining Team A me and he's like the uh, biggest of the bunch. And funny enough, he's like um he's like the only None of the power. I mean, they they are separate. The teach team has like a separate of. Uh, each team has a separate of. Um, uh, what was it? Um, each team is separated in speed, power, and flight. Heat. Um, Sonic, Amy. Shadow and SBO are are speed. Um, ch Tails, Charmy, um, Cream, and uh, Rouge their flight, and uh, Knuckles, Big Vector, and and Omega are hmm, Omega are um, uh, power. There are no female powers. It's all male, and Big is like the only guy of the um, of Team Amy. And funny enough, I was able to complete uh, Sonic Heroes as Team Amy. Kind of strange. I'm actually drawing big as um, Ryu. In fact, he's more of a Rufus than a Ryu. In case you don't know, Rufus is this uh, obese fighter in, who was introduced in Street Fighter. Four, and he often consid considers Ken Masters as his worthy opponent. I'm not sure is he wearing socks because I don't see him with um I don't see him with any toes. In fact most in fact I am highly aware that most of the Sonic characters have no uh toes. They never they almost never walk on bare feet. And they're the only exceptions would probably be in something like Adventures of Sonic the Hedgehog, where Sonic did occasionally take off his feet. I mean, take off his shoes. But without the, his shoes, um, he I heard if without those shoes he can't speed up. There we go, we have Big the Cat as Ryu.
Kenny Bunny. So, um, K, we're, we're one hour in and, uh, oops. What do we have left? We have, um, we have, um, Let's see, we have Castlevania, Earthbound, Kedakurus, Me, Metroid, Star Fox, Final Fantasy, and Xenoblade. Let's see. Okay, let me, um... Met... Huh, Met the Me. Why does he look like... He looks kind of like, uh... Um, uh... Uh, he looks familiar. I mean, is he modeled after, her, um, let me, let me look, um, uh, let's see, let's see. I mean, he looks, he looks like, I'm sure he looks like somebody, the Matt, the me. He, I mean, he, he does remind me of somebody. He. He's definitely not Michael Jordan, but he, he... Steve Harvey. Hmm, never heard of him, but... Yeah, perhaps, perhaps. Oh, let's see, let's see. Yeah. Hmm. Actually, wouldn't actually his nose is a uh, diff. Yeah, um, there's a thing on on uh, Fox's eyes, and um, yeah, yeah, like I think I may have said this before, but it kind of reminds me of that uh, Vegeta's scan. No, the thing where he calculates Goku's power level, and he was like, hmm, first it's over 8,000, now it's 9. And in the end, he's like, uh, Kappa's like, v or was it Nappa? Uh, Nappa, I, I remember. He goes, Vegeta, what does the scanner say about his, what does the scatter say about his power level? And then he takes off the, the power the, the scanner is like, it's over 9,000! And he destroys it. What? 9,000? There's no way that can be right! Hmm. Apparently it was a mistranslation. The original... The original, um... Thing... The original dialogue is over 8,000. Hmm. And when they try redubbing it, it is, the results are still over 9,000. But in a sense, over 9,000 is still over 8,000. In fact, it's uh, a thousand percent, a thousand more over 8,000. <laughs> and, and I remember some comment section saying, nowadays 9,000 isn't so much. I, I mean, I haven't been, I haven't been keeping up with Dragon Ball recently, but, um... <laughs> I think it's an indication that some of the dra the Dragon Ball lore has kind of changed ever s since then. But even then, that there is, Capcom for some reason likes to do memes. I mean, there's a I think there was a there was an episode and there was a thing in Street Fighter X Tekken where um, Brian from Tekken with Jack X, which was based on Jack Six in. He, when he scans guy, guy and guy and Cody, he says both fighters' power levels are over nine thousand. Uh, 
Oh, I'm so sorry about what happened. <laughs> I mean, apparently the meme was also a bit harmful, especially to Oprah Winfrey. She she made a bit of a report on that, and then suddenly people started making fun of her. Hmm. Well, here you go. We got uh, Pink Fong as uh, as uh, Fox McCloud. All right. Um, Star Fox is done. What I miss? Well, um, well, we have Castlevania, Earthbound, Kid Icarus, Me, Metroid, Final Fantasy, and Xenoblade to go. Hmm. Um, let's see. Um. question why are you asking me to draw like uh, a very l a little girl to dress up as somebody who is who often gets a lot of people aroused just asking Um, wait, did, did, did Samus have a little something thing or is it? No, it's just, uh, she's, she's just, um, I thought she was wearing, she might have had a little, teeny tiny little bit of equipment on her. But no, she's, she, it's just, the yeah. Maybe one day I should try um, prac um, um, doing a little um, doing a little art deviant art drawing series where I take a look at uh, some highly detailed human characters like uh, the fire emblem and Ko and Korra, try and redraw them in their original style, and then redraw them in my own style and other. Styles like get it name star verses and then I ask people which version is is the best and which version should I stick should I use more often for that said character and just to make not only just to make things easier but to also be satisfied with the results Oops. Oops. in case I want to include them in my animations okay anyways what was I oh yeah. Yeah, when Okay, let's see. Um still no Castlevania or Earthbound. Uh me double check in case I have a Okay, I got nothing. Hmm. Okay. 
Yeah, you got, okay, I got, I got Atomic Bay D done. Serious done. Um, let's see. Uh, boo boos. Wait, do I? Wait. That sounds familiar. Is that? Oh, that weasel thing. Hmm. Like I said, I haven't been keeping up with Pokemon. And I is just a. Let's see, let's see. Let me. Maria. Uh, can it not be either Simon or Richard because um because they're the ones who are playable? Part of me. I mean, with Corin, 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 or Corin, I'm not sure. Being a um, dragon form, it's part of the fight. Isn't that one of the final? Smashes of the character, that's why he gets a pass. Just um, include a little some. I didn't realize his uh, weapon, Richard's weapon, is literally a, ch a cross. The, the the cross, the thing where Jesus was hanging with a chain whip. Something that scares away the vampires. <laughs> this would be a very weird idea for a crossover. Hotel Castlevania. You know what? I should probably make a, a list of strange ideas for crossover movies. Like Sleeping Beauty and the Beast Wars.
can't do it. It's too cute. I kid, I kid, I kid. Uh, I don't want to bail out like last time. I, I mean... Okay, I think this is the best I can do for, um, um, for Buizel as, Buizel as a richer. So that's Castlevania done. Got anything from Earthbound? There's Luca, Lucas and Ness. Um hmm, is that Smith Latoon Dark Pink Hmm By the way, there there is another version of uh, there is a funny enough there is another version of Pit. Um, he's a, he's very chibi looking, and uh, a lot of people are not a big fan of him. He because uh, the way he speaks he speaks in uh, something Icarus, something Rus, something like this is. He always speaks like with the s in the end. Like Among Us. <laughs> oh, but the worst is Mega Man. And in fact, uh, he he's so bad. The, the, the Captain N Mega Man is so bad. He makes the, uh, the bad box art Mega Man from Street Fighter look more plausible. Let me just um this doesn't look too eh, just a little a little of a Julius Caesar her headwear he has. You know, Japan, a lot of, a lot of Japan, um, a lot of Japan games, they take, they take a lot of inspiration from around the world. In fact, I think anime does that as well. Oh, I mean, the, um, um, a lot of, a lot of their games take, um, take inspiration from a lot of things from around the world. Like, Pit, Kid Icarus is definitely based on Greek mythology. Mario is an Italian plum. Mm -hmm. um. So Mario is an Italian plumber. Um. There are some. There are some animes that at even in even in Japanese dubs that take place in. New York and in various places in America there's um, um, I'm 
I'm trying to think what other what else there there was. I mean, I'm sure there's plenty out there. Do you know any examples? Let me know. And, I'll, and let's not forget something to make sure he is dressed up as Pit. Here we go, we have Hoagie as Pit. Okay, we're about one and a half hours in. Now, what was I? Um, um, CC, that's it. I don't know if I can do Miss Marvel. Let me see if I can find it. Let me see if I can find a. Hmm. It's not the version I was hoping for. Uh, let me try something else. Ar Archon. Oh, it's the Archaeopteryx Pokemon. Okay. Yeah, I'm surprised there actually is a there's actually a Pokemon based on an Archaeopteryx. In case you don't know what an Archaeopteryx is, it's basically a uh, um, one of, if not the first bird to ever exist. Some say it's more dinosaur than bird. Others say it's uh, definitely the first true bird. Hmm. Is it, was there ever a Pokemon that was based on a Dimetrodon, the uh, the the sailed back cynipid, uh, something that looks like a reptile but it has um, in mammal-like teeth? I know there's an anomalous carus like Pokemon called uh, Anorith, which is uh, said to be one of, if not the first big predator, a two meter long carnivore from the Cambrian period. Yeah, I'm just wondering when it is, when it's a good time to do a before dinosaurs live stream. I'm not sure when is the best time, but uh, it it would sound like a fun challenge. But I'm not sure uh, if a lot of my folks are as an, are as much of an expert on before dinosaurs as much as they are on actual dinosaurs. In fact, them there I know some people are more expert on the ice age animals than they are before dinosaurs. So, uh, what was that? What was that? Um, oh, yeah, I remember now.
For some reason, when I think of, when I see Ness, I mean, the fact that his eyes are, are completely dotted, the thing that was pop, the thing that was popping in my head is either Madeline or Conan Kids Next Door. They're, they're also characters with dots for eyes. And also, also Peanuts. Just out of curiosity, were, were Ness and Luca inspired by Peanuts? Just like Ed, Ed, and Eddie, and The Loud House. In fact, Peanuts is a very inspirational, influential comic strip series. He's... A sim simplicity with, with the characters, but also a bit of a complexity on on their personality. Maybe I should do a Peanuts live stream. I mean, the characters are quite charming enough to... And they're simple. Now there are some that might that some people might raise an eyebrow like uh, Lucy, the one who often keeps tormenting Charlie Brown, and um, um. Anyways, what was I? Um, Earthbound check. Okay, we got me, the Final Fantasy, and Xenoblade. Now I'm just out of curiosity. Do I should I count should I count uh, Sora as Final Fantasy since uh, um, let's say uh, Kingdom Hearts is in fact made by the same people who made Final Fantasy, and Sora did once appear in a Final Fantasy type game. Um. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Um. Huh. The design uh, sort of remind me of the the superhero squad. Hmm. Admittingly, I still prefer the uh, old Miss Marvel, the uh, the one where Miss where Carol Denvers used to be called Miss Marvel before she got the title of Captain Marvel, and D and DC was still allowed to use the Captain Marvel name. And before you say something about Shazam, that's the wizard's name. What about now you might say Captain what about Captain Sparkle Fingers? That could work. Hmm. It's very This is very strange. 
I will admit, this is very, very strange. Oop! Uh, sorry, I dropped a pen. So, so how do I, um... Oh yeah, I, re I remember now. She, um... Because, um... Of her, because of her ability to, um... Wait, what am I doing? She doesn't... Oh, never mind. I can just always... Apparently there's a there's another there's a Disney there's a show on Disney Plus called uh, Spider-Man and His Amazing Friends the the new one the one where it has mini Spider-Man and mini Spider-Gwen and mini uh mini uh, Miles Morales um Now technically this is not the first time that um this is not the first time there was a Spider-Man cartoon with that name there's there is another amazing Spider-Man and his amazing friends cartoon, which is by, which uh, features Firestorm and Iceman. In fact, this was that was Firestorm's first appearance in 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 all of Marvel, and she would later be picked up as a uh, in the comics. A similar case with uh, X-23 in Next Man of a Lucian. She started off as a character for, as a character for. She would start off as a character for, for a, a TV show, and then she became a comic book character. You know, you know, she does have the ability to uh, to stretch her limbs. Now, in some occasions, she's able to 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 become a let's just say a, a giant, hmm. kind of like um Elastigirl from DC's Doom Patrol. The before before the TV series, before the TV series, uh, Elastigirl was was a character who not just had the ability to 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 stretch she also had the ability to change size this was shown in batman the brave and the bold and the 2003 teen titans even the um even teen titans go had um had a had her growing to size he despite the drastic changes um, um, let's see, um, but to, in the TV series, she, she, I think she just stretches and becomes a big blob or something. I haven't seen the TV series of Doom Patrol, but, uh, I, I wasn't exactly, wasn't exactly fond of her. I, I don't know, I don't know. Maybe I, maybe I need to see, I am, some, some more of it. Miss Marvel, though, tends to stretch more than to actually become super big. She can, she can grow big, but she's more of a stretcher. In fact, I think I was, I think I was prefer calling her Cam, Cam, Camella, Camella, rather than Miss Marvel. Okay, I think this is the best I can do for, uh, for Miss Marvel as um, Cloud. Okay, let me see if anybody's interested in Xenoblade. Or oh um. Let's 
There we go, we have Matt the Mill with the Champion Belt. That's a me down. Now for, now for, um, um, let's see, is it, um, Pyra, Mithra, or, who, who is, um, uh, what the? Huh. Or something else. Um, why does everybody want me to draw the Inkling girl? <laughs> I already did. Uh, wait, wait. Actually, I did not. So, um, uh, you know what? Uh, Yeah, there was a oh yeah I remember in the uh, soup in the Nickelodeon All Star Brawl there's a there's a time when you can have Lincoln loud um, squirt water I heard that I heard that move is uh, is quite controversial because uh, it makes Lincoln a bit too overpowered hmm. thus um, they had to um, try and uh, um, fix the fix the the things to make it less powerful hmm. aside from Lincoln uh, Cora might be my most my main because <laughs> she has a very powerful um, special move.
Okay, we got Lincoln here as uh, the Inkling boy. I think that's about that'll do for. I think that'll do for the uh, others. All right, let's see what else do we have. Shim, shim. I don't think I can do an, a Pokemon trainer or a human from Pokemon. So uh, I think I'll have to. Um, What's Grossology? Strange. Very, very strange. Hmm. Is it? Hmm. Is it, um... Uh, okay, I'm, I'll, 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 I'll settle with this one. Um, what was it again? Uh, what was it again? All right. I'm gonna try and sim, try and simplify this one as much as I can. Hmm, very strange designs. The characters almost look like, um, let me just, um, do a little bit of shading just to make sure. Let's include him. There's a, there's a, I remember, um, there was a, there was a, I think that there was an episode of, um, okay, not episode, but, uh, during the moments of, uh, during a moment in, in Zen, Xenoblade, where the character, where Mithra ends up, s ends up staying in Rex's, uh, bed, and she's like, Oh dear, it's happened again. <laughs> He's like, what are you doing in my bedroom? He's like, uh, what are you doing in my bedroom? He's like, see, she then she gets angry and then he, he calls up for saying, you were staring. Uh, I don't know too much about, again, I don't know too much about uh, Xenoblade, but as far as I'm aware, uh, Pyra is the nicer one, while Mithra is the tougher one. 
a bit of a Jekyll and Mr. Hyde thing in where they keep switching places. Just, just, uh... And there was a there was a cutscene where you actually do see Pyra and Thra together there at the same room at the same time. Okay, maybe somebody else in the chat room knows more about uh, knows more about um, knows more about um, Xenoblade than I do. I mean, I know somebody who knows about. Fire Emblem more than I do. Where were you when I was doing my Skyland with when I was doing my Amiibo and Skylanders with different so series? You could have helped me choose better songs for the for the Fire Emblem characters than what I got before the whole copyright thing was a problem. something to Yeah, I think that's the best I can do for, for, oops, missed a spot. Yeah, I think that's the best I can do to have uh, Pyra, Abby from Grossology as myth, as Pyra. And there, that in concludes concludes the Super Smash Brothers live stream. I probably should have maybe maybe I'll try Byleth Byleth again and but off screen another maybe another day as a as a as an apology letter but um, man that was a bit of a wild run. I would have preferred people enlisting as many future candidates for a proposed Smash 6 but never mind. The franchise is a bit of a f it's always good to look back on some of the franchise's best fighters. So let's see if I can answer any questions. Oh I should have done ah, never mind. Are you excited for the Lego Star Wars The Skywalker Saga coming out? Uh, yeah, exi yeah, definitely. In fact, just today I was just listening to Weird Al's The Saga Begins and I was thinking and I was thinking to myself, maybe one maybe I should make a music video using clips from the Skywalker Saga. Of course I won't put it on BRR Games because copyright, but maybe on my other account. So, an Incredibox live stream. I don't know t 
to I don't know a thing about Incredible Box, so I I I'm I'm not the person you can ask me for that. I can I can ask uh, I can uh, do it in a small dose, but I don't think at the main course. Do you hate heavy metal? Not really. Uh, I can see I can see its detractors, but I thought it was a fun. I thought I thought it was all right. Heavy Metal wasn't that bad. It introduced Ronnie Yan. Off screen, actually. I mean, her, I think her physical appearance... Was it Save the Day? I, I can't remember. But it's def, But she definitely had a... Appear, she didn't appear physically. She appeared later physically. And Ronnie Yan did get become better as a character over time. Pokemon Legends of... Jesus. Hmm. I don't know. I still haven't... Still haven't really gotten in, into the Pokemon thing yet. Do you think Xbox will have its own Smash game like PlayStation All Star Brawl? Maybe, just maybe. I mean, if they're gonna, if they bought Activision and Blizzard, you're guaranteed that might they might do something about it. Do you hate Save the Date? Um, only the part, only the part with the when the rest, only the restaurant part when Lincoln's friends show up. Aside from that, everything else is fine. Oh, sorry, I can't do a Sesame Street live stream because I'm worried about the uh, I'm worried about the um, YouTube guideline system. If 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 they see this and they flag it for kids, and if I try to appeal, they'll probably still say, "Oh no, it's for kids. It's Sesame Street and stuff." I I I must refrain myself from doing uh, uh, preschool shows as a as the main theme. Yeah, it has it's best to use the ones that are meant more for an older audience, uh, um, older kids even. I mean, I can do. I mean, I I I mean, SpongeBob SquarePants is 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 definitely for older kids. But um, although I don't want to talk about that one too much. Have you seen? F finally seen Hello Buzz? Still don't have time. Still don't have time. Okay, maybe the Muppets. Hmm. Can you do a South Park live stream? Yes, uh, sure I can, but I don't. But I don't think. Uh, I don't think uh, uh, you have to make sure that the stuff you is quite tame. The stuff you request from me is quite tame because uh, I know South Park is a franchise that's known for being very raunchy and stuff. But also another problem with the YouTube guidelines: uh, if you if you square too much or if you show bits. Lots of blood. Uh, it's gonna be a bit trub. It's gonna be a bit of trouble. Is supposed when is Sky Wars Part Three supposedly finished? I'm supposed. I'm. I'm still working on the on the remake to the. I'm still working on the remake to the um, Sky Wars Christmas Redux. How about a Monster High live stream? Too advanced. Too advanced. Next. <laughs> You do a Simpsons live stream. Now that one I can try and do because that Simpsons is more on the tamer side of adult content. So what's going to be? Do you know Five Nights at Freddy's? Yes, but I never played. What's the next live stream going to be like? I'm glad you asked because um, on fe um, because on February third we're going to go to yet another live stream. And uh, another anniversary. And uh, if Walt Disney started off with a mouse, this company started off with a ball with a star on its face and a lamp. Thank you for joining me. I'll see you all in the next live stream. Thank you for the requests. Thank you for the thank you for the requests and thank you for the questions. I hope you've enjoyed this video.